What's up, everybody? This is your girl T.S. Madison, and honey, I have to know this. Is you live? Is you live, whore? Whore, is you live? So you just love to be up on the mic. Girl, yes, because that's the way I <laughs> that's the way I suck dick on the mic like that, honey. Friday night and the week is here. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Queen Supreme Court podcast. Um, the all it, new. The all new Queen Supreme Court podcast. Is it all? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grind the Scruff, BGC Jack, Facebook Periscope, and last but not least, every single one <laughs> of my bitches, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison. I'm coming to you live, live, and always, I'm the forever in color Something from the marvelous <laughs> chateau honey and we are on the queen supreme court podcast <laughs> you are so retarded yeah. all right so you want to tell them that the, that the format has changed and what we're gonna well do right time. now we've changed the format around because we we record the after show we re, re, we record the after show um and we just upload the after show so what, what i'm going to do is start doing the pre-show we we pre-get the docket together and stuff like that, or whatever you're able to, if you want to advertise here on our podcast, please hit me at book tsmadison at gmail.com. Once again, that's book b o o k t s madison <laughs> at gmail.com so that you can advertise with us here you know, to all of our thousands and thousands of listeners. So I'm here with our showrunner for the week. Uh, oh, 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 I'm just a showrunner for the week. Listen. What's up, everybody? This is Craig, the writer. Yes, sir, because, Craig, we never know how you girls start acting. How y'all, y'all, a lot oh, of the girls start feeling, a lot of the girls start feeling their panty liners, honey, and then they just start switching out on me, girl, and everybody, like Beyonce said, can get to the left to the left. Girl. Everything you own in the box will definitely go Niece, to the left. I've been here for a year now. Yes, you have. I was here when the whole debacle. You did? You were here when the debacle transpired. However, as you can see, one gone and there are others that have left as well. And the show still is in motion. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Okay, so look, first up on the docket for tonight. Oh my God. First, th- f- first before we even introduce our guest, mm-hmm. because our guest should be here in the next 20, 20 minutes, 20 yeah. minutes and yeah. then we're, we're gonna pause in the middle of that and then mm-hmm. when the guests come we're gonna let her let we're gonna introduce her mm-hmm. and stuff like that or whatever let her talk we're only gonna talk about one thing right now that's really popping hard in the motherfucking paint okay and that's that Nicki, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B situation that's going on right now while Envy is painting my mug can I sit here Envy you I guess you can sit yeah, here yeah cause I need I need to be closest to the mic as possible oh girl <laughs> I need to be able to see but, but do you notice she said she needs to be closest to the mic. That to was just mind. too far over right. there. I was just a little too close to the mic. Yeah. <laughs> we have to let them know who's the HBIC. In this oh God. Okay, so we already know what happened. So we're gonna we're gonna do the footage that you sent me um, earlier in the week. We're yeah, gonna- we're gonna talk about all this stuff. Like you know, and I mean everybody's talking about it. So I just was on Queen Radio with um, with mm-hmm. the Queen, and let's be perfectly clear here. I am Team Nicki Minaj. I'm mm-hmm. not even gonna sit up here in front because Nicki is, you know. Provided me, you know, different sets of opportunities and stuff like that. And plus, I like the girl, you mm-hmm. know. And it's just, it is what it is. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and act like that, you know, Cardi hasn't made some form of music that I've enjoyed, <laughs> you know. You know, Bodak stuff and, you know. But I do still feel that, you know, no matter how Cardi is trending and, Booty woo, you know, she still has big shoes to fill with mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj. Um, and, you know, I think I respect both of their artistry. It's just they're having a beef right now. And I, I just personally don't feel like that we, as the fans of our favorites, should be tossed in the middle mm-hmm. of the situation. But, bitch, she did motherfucking throw a shoe at her. She did. You yeah. saw that crazy? But, but yeah, I did see that. But remember when you and I kept going back and forth. So for those of you that are listening, Madison and I go, we send each other stuff throughout the week. So from, from the last Monday show to the next Monday show, we're sending stuff either via text or Instagram, Facebook. We're sending stuff for the next week. And so when you sent me that footage, I was like, well, girl, I don't really see, like, I don't see where Nikki is in all of that. Like, I couldn't see her because, like, the security was like covering her and like I just saw you know Cardi you know running towards something and and then you sent me that last piece of footage which we actually it did look like like she got that hand it did look like Nikki got it did look like Nikki gave her a piece of that she gave her a piece of those knuckles Mm -hmm. because I did see the 
Nikki's hand had little a little braids, little braids on it, and those ring, you know. But Nikki went on and did those the queen things as as I would. You feel me, mm-hmm. girl? I'm not finna get dressed up, girl. And uh, what does that mean? Is she in the car? Let me say it again. Go back to that. I'm not gonna be dressed up, girl, going out to some gala, honey, and got to pull my motherfucking wig mm-hmm. off. And no, it's just he, said yeah, he's almost there. And pull yeah. and have to pull my fucking wig off and shit like that, girl. And having a battle with a bitch like girl like girl we are we around all these motherfucking white people mm-hmm. and then like like nikki was saying in the damn queen radio not even just that it was white people it was just that it was just the people upper from echelon. A, upper echelon and it's like they always looking for reasons to kind of keep us out of situations or things like that so i mean it's like to go there to this event and carry on like that that was just un, uncalled for it was it definitely was <laughs> uncalled for at the event like mm-hmm. You don't do that. Now, maybe there's a point that I just feel like Cardi felt some type of way about all the things that she had been listening to on Nikki's album. And that's what I told Nikki just earlier, just earlier tonight. Mm-hmm. So, But what I will say is Nikki did make some really valid points on Queen Radio today. And that was, you know, about the stuff that's going on between Cardi and Offset. And, you know, there's always been this talk about Nikki stopping her bag and stopping Remy's bag, supposedly. But Nikki made a very valid point. Like, you have actually gone or had people go down to these strip clubs where Offset allegedly has been spending time and spending money and Damn getting his dude. dick wet or whatever he's doing. Like, you got these women that are making their money as strippers, as, you know, entertainers that are afraid to go to work now. Yeah. Well, what she was basically saying was that Cardi was... Uh Bias than what she was saying about her. Right, right. Like, girl, you stopping bitches bags, you going to their fighting holes, at, at the job, and bitch, you was just a stripper. You were just a stripper mm-hmm. daughter, so that's not, let's don't get it twisted. You mm-hmm. were just ass clapping in the bar. Ago. Right. Okay, what else did you want to add to tonight's docket? Like, there was all this talk about. Well, marriage. I would like to talk heavy about this because there were uh-huh. so many valid points. If they didn't listen to Queen Radio, that, that Nikki uh-huh. did say about the situation, uh-huh. like, girl, you out here fighting women. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, you got a certain amount of money now. Right. There's a certain there's when you have a certain amount of money and a certain uh-huh. amount of visible a stature, visi- stature uh-huh. and visibility, whatever. Uh-huh. Bitch, you got to you have to act a certain kind of way, girl. Right. Yes, I might be bangy and ghetto and stuff like that and tote my pistol in my titties, you know, and fuck your bitch ass up. Right. But, bitch, I know if the police shackle me, bitch, I got all these things to lose. So, I do have to think twice about the situation, girl, me. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you got all these things to lose. Yes, you might get the popular vote from the popular from yeah from uh, public's the public, perception. Right. But, girl, I just feel like if you are a queen, at, at this level, you, you... You fight differently. Right. At this level, you fight on you fight on a whole different level. There's no in the street. There's no scrapping. Mm-hmm. Like let, let's There's fight a different the, way to right. Fight. And also too, they're both lyricists. So mm-hmm. at some point, like like Maddie said earlier, like if we're gonna battle, if this is really about rap game and this is really about the standard of rap and a new wave of rap, who has what it takes? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Let's really get it. You know, let's really mm-hmm. get it going. Let's do it in the booth. That's envy, y'all. Yeah, that's, she's doing my makeup right now. Right, so we just kind of nobody girl, doing. but you know. Right. But yeah, I mean, but you're right. I mean, like, there's a different way that you're supposed to fight, you know. But, but again, that kind of goes back to like mentality too. Like, just because Cardi now has money and you know has this acclaim, like your mentality is still that which you're you're used to. You know what I'm saying? Like, she still is a hood girl. You know what I'm saying? We all come from the hood. But she says that. Though, but Rick. right, she and says so, it like you got you got to give her a minute that that adjusting mm-hmm, and it doesn't mm-hmm, ha- for everyone mm-hmm. it doesn't happen overnight. But that's why it's important to have people around you too to pull you back and be like, well, hold on, niece. Not today. Oh, not today. This not today. There's some white not, folks in the right. This is not, not the today. space to do that. You're in a gown. She's in a gown. Yeah, like, you're in this. Yeah, but it's just like a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna agree with the way Cardi B yeah, act yeah, yeah. because a lot of people don't ain't got shit to lose. Exactly. A lot of the motherfuckers ain't got shit to lose. And mm. yes, bitch, you, when you got TV deals, contracts, right. And, 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 and endorsements and big things like that to lose because you want to throw a shoe at a bitch or punch mm. a bitch because they said they liked a tweet about your your baby or what you interpreted as your baby and shit like that, girl. Like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. You got to see the bigger picture than that. Bitch, put that shit. You are a rapper at this moment. Mm-hmm. And and this is now this woman is your rival. 
make money off the shit. You right. see, Nikki That's came what there. Guys do. Nikki right. came there and she did. She did her fucking radio show. She's gonna make money off that radio. Show. Right, because I mean, she didn't post about it after it happened. She waited because she knew people were gonna be waiting to hear from her about her perception of it. Right. So she waited until she was on that radio show. Right, and she removed one of my comments that I made about it because she didn't want, I don't uh-huh. think, you know, she she know I'm a part of the kingdom, bro, and she didn't. You're part of the world. I'm girl. part of the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I'm part of the motherfucking kingdom. Uh-huh. And, and bitch, if I was there with Nikki, I'd have been like, girl, are you, I'd have been looking at her like, girl, are you really kidding me right now, girl? Are you really? Right. Girl, fight me in the back of the parking lot, four streets over. Mm. Put the whole let's meet uh, in the four streets over. Mm-hmm. Let's do this out. Let 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 the people get some type of. But you know what? It's kind. Of, we're not gonna go into specific. But it's kind of like when we had our thing, mm-hmm. and you had to defuse a situation that was happening internally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? You picking up what I'm putting down? Uh, uh, I am. And so it was the same kind of thing. You, that's what I'm saying. You got to have people around you and your team that are like. This is not the place. There are there are eyes here. There are people who are watching. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and we lost we lost deals by the way that shit transpired. You know the way shit. We lost stuff because of that. But I'm talking about even the situation recently, recently. when we did our live show. Yeah, and I had read. Yeah. Well, I didn't lose nothing behind. No, no, no. You, no, you oh, did. I didn't. Let's let's be clear. No, you did. I was what? talking about the original. Oh, no, I know what you're saying. Original exception because I didn't lose nothing right, behind right, right, that. Right. But. At the end of the day, it was like it drop, still was trending. I didn't want to trend about that and mm-hmm. be talking about that shit anymore. Like I'm at the point where I'm over that. Like I'm just I'm past it, and I just want to go right, go go on and go forth. You feel me? Now I just feel like right now in this situation, this could turn into because the Barty gang is they ghetto motherfuckers. Girl, I need a throw. It's cold in here. Girl, I know you got these white people up on the wall. Listen, ball. don't don't touch that. I'm gonna go in here and get this. It's on the side, Craig. No, no, that's the right. You know the 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 Barty gang is some ghetto some ghetto some ghetto motherfuckers, bitch. You know they 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 don't mind. But my thing is, girl, there's a different type of money on the table, and we don't need a Biggie, Tupac Hi. type situation. And I'm I'm so glad the way Nikki brought that shit up today, like girl, Biggie and Tupac, like you you don't really want that. No, you don't. You don't want no shit like that to happen. You don't want that. You feel me? No, you don't. Mean, we don't need that over some petty shit like right. some stuff like that, bitch. If you gonna do some over shit, over fucking social media, basically. if you gonna do some shit like that, bitch, fuck your nigga up for fucking these hoes. Mm-hmm. Right or wrong? Right. Fuck your nigga up for fucking these hoes. Mm-hmm. That's it. In, in a nutshell. You know, I want to be a little bit more explicit and a little bit more funny on the show about the situation, right. especially when I get with, with my co-host who's coming. We're mm-hmm. not going to really talk to her because I don't want to hear her, too, too yeah. much of her opinion. On, I want the people to watch the show, right. but we'll just tell her that that's on there. We can probably get one of her, you know, reactions when she when she arrives or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, and this co-host that I, that I chose, not I've worked with her before in mm-hmm. another environment, so mm-hmm. I know that she's very she's opinionated about stuff. Mm-hmm. But bitch. It seemed like that whole night that everybody was fucking fighting, girl. George Zimmerman had threatened Beyonce. Yeah. Bit. What? what? Yes, girl. Yeah. We'll talk about it on the on the court. Oh my god! Yeah. So yeah. you guys have to tune in. George Zimmerman had threatened Beyonce, girl. Mm-hmm. Mar- it was alleged that mm-hmm. Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans was yeah. tussling. Yeah. Girl over at P Diddy. Girl, what do P Diddy be serving them? Is that Ciroc be giving them more? Right. Bitch, yeah. I don't want to drink none of that. Bitch, I don't need to be fighting in my own. Everybody here. That's why Rod didn't Rod beat up somebody at the. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean that they've been buzzing about this whole Faith Evans and, and Mary J. Blige thing, but I don't know what. I mean, is true. there any evidence that they were even no. they even saw each other? No. Crack? Did you? Because you know you gather the goods. I be working and sleeping and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you be trying to gather the goods. I have to make and please, Craig, tonight don't put all that philo- philosophical shit on there. Philosophical, <laughs> whatever. Say it again, philosophical, baby. philosophical. No, say it or you just said philosophical, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. No, I'm not. I didn't even know if you were gonna want to talk about the George Zimmerman thing, but yeah, yeah. But I, mean, but I, I did want to kind of gloss over the whole Nike Kaepernick thing, but not <laughs> not in terms of like. Now, listen, I want I need y'all to know this, okay? When they get on the night, I'm just gonna call it out and then I'm just gonna see what they gotta say and this I don't like getting on no stuff like no, that. No, no, but the only thing I really wanted to and say. And it's not because that that, it's not because that I'm I'm not able to challenge a situation right. like that. I'm just like girl. Right. 
But you, you know how I feel about you taking on lots and lots of black issues because <laughs> you take on lots of issues because I love my people. I understand you love your people, uh, but okay. do you love? But do your people love motherfucking you? Yeah, they do. And but, I got a problem. I, I do think that I have a problem. I have a very, I have a people. very, very strong problem that you take a very uh, heavy stance for black people. Well, not, not to say that I'm uh, anti black right, because right. I'm black saying. first. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? But at the end of the day, after I'm black, I'm trans. Right. And first of all, I expect the outside, the outside enemy to be the enemy. I don't right. need the enemy to be within. Right. Especially when I'm protecting you because I am you. Right. Right. I, I have a, I have a problem with that, and right. I and I and I and I, and I, I, I don't speak on these issues not not because I'm not equipped or, or or mentally equipped to speak on these issues, or I'm uneducated that I can't speak on these issues. It's because I that part right there mm-hmm. sits very deep in me, and I have to fall back. Where you don't but, feel like the black community embraces you as a trans person. They don't embrace. They don't protect. They don't protect. protect. I think yeah. that that's the yeah, yeah. thing. That's the problem. It's this. I'm. I'm Bitch, I'm black, so bitch, I'm out there fighting. Mm -hmm. But that's a part of what I try to say, too, from my space, is it's important if you're going to say black lives matter, that's inclusive of trans people, that's inclusive of black gay people, bisexual, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just say black lives matter and then exclude us. So, no, I feel you on that. But I didn't really want to go into that. I just wanted to talk about how Nike sales have skyrocketed, but the media is trying to act like Ever since Nike made Kaepernick the face of their 30th anniversary for the Just Do It, so it's all propaganda. It's all propaganda. Mm-hmm. The sales have gone through the roof. Like yeah, black folks Nike have made up to the plate. Yeah, they did. Yeah, black folks have made it their business to go out and buy Nike. Even Nike. Did you see Jim Carrey with that? I didn't. Oh. yeah, Jim Carrey was on um, um, was on Bill Maher, uh-huh. and he sat and he put his Nike. On. I mean, because it's just there are white people that's just they not for the shit. Yeah, yeah. There are lots of white people they're out like, there. They, yeah. They're just not for the shits. And you know what I'm saying? And, and and see, my problem with black people is that like once it, once we done got over here into this racist stuff, mm-hmm. they like to blame all yeah. white people for stuff. And, you know, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. not all white people. And it's just like you, we loosely use the C word cracker. Mm-hmm. We loosely use that or whatever. And sometimes we've attacked a lot of our allies because a lot of mm-hmm. people that, that, I've, that have actually helped catapult my career into mm-hmm. a mainstream direction have been people of a Caucasian persuasion. Yeah. No, no, I got you. Because, I mean, some and of the those stuff that, that have I've been, done those, right. those who have been clawing, clawing in my back and, and digging me into the earth have been of a Negro <laughs> have been what, girl? persuasion. What they've been? Of a Negro persuasion. <laughs> Did you see that, have, that have kept me out of girl, certain... Girl, I wish y'all could see her. Face. That have kept me out of certain arenas uh, yeah. has been the Negro persuasion. <laughs> that have kept me away... You would see it. <laughs> so yes, when we start talking about things, when we With get on these, red when, on. when we start talking about stuff, and we get into these things on black, mm-hmm. this is why I, I always leave you right there, you and just leave I just the leave you there, and right there, and it's not because of that I'm because bitch, yeah, I'm yeah. black first, right, right. It's because all of the experience that I had, and bitch, don't you ever sit up here and interpret that I'm thinking that white is right. Mm -hmm. Because I've had to burn them motherfuckers down, too. Right, right, right. Oh, I know you don't think that. I mean, you and I have had enough. I've had to set them motherfuckers on fire, too. Right. And bitch, don't get me started on the Cubans, because I'm from (laughs) Miami. (laughs) You had to light them up, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so do you know this guy, Mac Miller, the rapper? Um, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and honestly say that. I, I don't know who that is either. I don't know his music, so I figured because it's so popular right now, we need. Who to is that? And, um, that's probably her. It's it's 26 minutes and went by that quick. Oh shit, we already 20 so. minutes in the show. This is our guest coming, guys. For is it? But um, but yeah, I don't know him, but I figured since you know it, it was really really big this week, we could kind of touch on it. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean substance abuse. Uh-huh. And um and things of that nature is very it's it's prominent in that in that arena. Right. So therefore, being that it's prominent in that arena, people should be to the point now, girl. Like, girl, you you mean to tell me you gonna smoke that spliff until you die? Right, right. You mean to tell me that feeling is so good that prov- provofol, mm-hmm. propene, <laughs> or whatever the fuck it might be? You mean to tell me that you're gonna inhale all of these things until you die, girl? Right. Like, he was 26. Like, he died yeah. on his birthday. Oh. 
Yeah, Karen Civil found him. Yeah. Really? Yeah. She was it was on mm-hmm. his birth on his twenty sixth birthday. Mm-hmm. That's the irony of it. Um, so we can we can gloss over that. Mm-hmm. Um, no, we're not going to tell them entirely what we're talking about. They just they have to tune into the show. This is why we do this part of the show, and then they have yeah. to do we do and we do the um we do the after we do the after show. You know, like mm-hmm. we tape it live, and then we we record it, and then we we upload mm-hmm. it. You know, mm-hmm. so they we, we, that's just the way I'm going to change the format now because it's just like okay, well, girl, what you getting up on Saturday for? Right. You know, listening to whatever, and I might change the drop dates to Saturday or okay. whatever. I'm I'm not really sure. So you guys, I don't know how it's gonna work, me, <laughs> but it's gonna work. <laughs> um, Serena Williams carrying on on this court, justifiably. I think that we should mention that. Mm-hmm. Um, we, Go ahead. We pulled some footage and some audio of that. Go ahead, cause is, is this a long, long jacket? No. Mm. And then Young Thug, there's a felony um, arrest warrant out for him. What? Yeah, for okay, drugs. Okay, keep going. Cause do you, uh, so do you have all the evidence in this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, um, oh, and then the last thing that I had so far was um, Tisha Campbell and uh, Dwayne Martin fighting over spousal support. She Wait a minute. Is this all that's on the docket? This? Yeah. Right now. Craig, are you kidding me? That's Is this it like right four things? All There's the, more than four things. All the things that are going on in the world, and you mean to tell me this, this is... This is more than four things. We got Serena. <laughs> Faith and Mary, Mac Miller, Tisha and Dwayne, Young Thug, the Nike thing, the George Zimmerman, and oh my Beyonce. God. I, I need to go through Cardi it's... and Nikki. You gonna sit on Cardi and Nikki? I know. No, we're years. not. And then what? And what else is? What else is going on? Is that we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to speak about that Bobby Brown. Yes, the Bobby biopic. Brown. Right. Well, that's what we're sitting here doing now. Coming up, what we're gonna talk about the Bobby Brown. Now, what did you think about that, girl? It was sickening. The actress looked nothing like Whitney. I but she affected Whitney, though. No, you, she, didn't, you didn't... Craig, get Whit- the fuck out. Uh-uh. When she was in that... that day uh-uh. already, I'll cut it off. Remember when they were in the in the gift store? <laughs> and then they were throwing the cabbage patch. <laughs> and then the cashier was looking at them like, these two motherfucking crackheads. Hi. She gave you Whitney in that part right there. And she was... Break, break it down. Break it down. Break it down. No. You, you didn't... Who embodied did. Whitney to me was... Uh, uh, Demetra like, McKinney. She was okay. Oh no, she, she was. was beyond okay, dear. She was, but but even when you look at the footage, the, like the scene <laughs> when Bobby Brown's mom died, and they had the, they reenacted the scene where she was up there at the funeral. Like if you go on YouTube and look at that, she gave you Whitney. Whitney didn't do all that. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Whitney, and, and Whitney didn't do all that. She didn't do all that. And second, Girl. Bobby Brown and Johnny Gill was behind her, bitch. She they were not sitting out there watching her do the thing. Well, well, right. So, now, bitch, they, now they should they should have. Well, I'll talk, we'll, we'll talk about this on the stage. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm talking about the girl giving you Whitney. I don't think I'm sorry. she gave you Maddie do? Whitney at all. You're only you don't think she gave. Off. I'm saying Maddie doesn't feel like she gave Whitney. You're only saying these things Whitney, because she's black. She's also no, I'm not. No, <laughs> Maddie's also by you. Well, you, you know yeah. she is Whitney down. Yeah, okay. exactly. But she like in terms of like how she was talking, how Whitney talks when Whitney was high, and you knew she was high. She was doing that speed that talking. Extra. She gave you all of that. Right. I've so, just gotten silent. All right, so, so we'll, we'll talk King about that. Pop. Well, I mean, my thing is like Janet. Janet has not made an open, a open. Ha, has she? Has she made an open retort to Bobby's accusations that he beat her pussy in, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> she is not about to mention that. She should. Because that, that shit was trending. Is she? Is she? Is she going to mention that she, he's the reason that she whispered? I just want to love you, touch you, hold you, squeeze you. Oh, I just want to. Did she get some of the BBD? Bobby Brown dick? Oh, not the big black. Uh uh-uh, uh, that's BBC. a BBC, honey. Oh, yeah, BBC. We speak, those spoke, or spoke, white, a white person came up with BBC because white people say ka. They say what? Ka. <sighs> I hate that word. God. <laughs> like, if you ever say my cock, you get now. Oh, shit. Nigga, call my thing a cock, bitch. Don't call because, bitch, just <laughs> call it a cock, the water. <laughs> oh, my God. Suck my cock. Oh, my God. Okay, so this woman blows off her thumb or finger or something, thinking that it was a, a candle, but it was a stick of dynamite. Girl, what about the police officer that came into the wrong apartment? Yes, that too. Do you have that? I do. 
But see, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what you want, want to talk about. Craig, that's too black. I want it's to not about it being too black. It's about, bitch, like I'm this. home laying on myself with a bitch. Oh, but first of all, I need to know, why was his door unlocked? We'll see. He was that, waiting on somebody to come in. Oh, okay. We'll talk about it on the bench. No, that's all I need okay. to know. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Envy. I don't know if that was really what happened. Allegedly. No, just <laughs> Um, did you want to talk about Black Girls Rock that came on last night? I, did, I didn't watch it. Okay. It was amazing. It was really good. Fantasia turned it. So did Let Us See. They turned it. Let Us See always turns it. And Jasmine Sullivan came on through, honey. Let, yeah, she did. She did. Jasmine Sullivan brought it they on They did a home. great job. Oh, and the, 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 the girl from the UK. Oh, yeah. What's her name? Um, I looked her up. I was like, she, was, she also did the color purple. Perfect pitch. Amazing. She did a good lady. job. Okay, we need to put together the the one gotta go. Do you have this already? Oh yeah, we got the one gotta go from. Um, remember the other. That we do you have we them? Do, yeah, I gotta. So see do you them. have the pictures that you're gonna put together? Which one are we doing this week? Oh, did you want to do this one right here? Let me see. So, uh, no, see. Never say it out loud. They gotta watch the show. That one. Right do there. we know e- songs from each one of these people? Uh-huh. Okay, good. Well, then that'll work. Right, so that's, that's, that's who we're oh, going to do. Oh, that's going to be tough. It ain't tough for me because I already know who I got to go. Because right, this it. one I don't really care for right here. Right. That one. Is, right this, is this the one we're doing right here? Yeah. This one I don't care for. And this is uh-uh. HH? Uh-huh. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Those are trained vocals. L- listen here. <laughs> Girl, anyway, let's keep going. Okay. Broadway. You guys will have to make sure that you've lit- si- you watched the show. Part, for sure. But you watched the show, daughter. We don't want any spoilers. No, any spoilers. Or or, or, or if you're watching this, then you'll know you know what, what we put together or whatever. You feel me? So there you have it. I'm yes. Gonna I want you to make sure that you put the you, you draw the chin, and I want to have a skinny face tonight. You want to have a what? A skinny, a thin face. <laughs> yeah, you know, people are still messaging me. Say, I took away your nose that day. Well, take it away tonight, honey. I want to have a white person's nose. I want to lose. Oh, it. good. I want to. I want to disassociate myself from all things, all for the soul of blackness tonight. <laughs> after that incident, <laughs> I have to disassociate myself. That's we good. have a breeze of seasons. Child, listen, is Rita's, Rita's, she finally in the ground? Yeah, it's a funeral over is what I want to know. Rita's finally in the Rita's. All Rita. Um, what else, Craig? Uh, I'm scrolling through here. Girl, I'm actually trending right now, number five, girl. Girl, oh. they, is, girl they are reading me, honey. Uh, what they saying? Child, they didn't like, they didn't like some of the stuff I said. Oh, they didn't? They said that, uh, 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 a tweeter said, t- uh, uh, from tweet, D-R-E-S, Kardash said, uh, T.S. Madison, they can't lyrically bow. Because I said that I want Nikki and Cardi, I don't want them taking right. this shit to the street. I want them to take this, put this shit on wax, right? So it says they can't lyrically battle because Cardi does not write her own raps. Ooh. Oh. Is, oh. That, is that confirmed? Mm. <laughs> uh, is there confirmation? Mm. Oh, let me go over here and look in our um, file to see if we sent some other stuff this week. Girl, it's just so much stuff. Right? Back and forth through here. Let me see. You know, personally, let's be <laughs> let's let's be clear here. Do I feel that lyrically, Nicki Minaj will destroy Cardi B? Is that what you feel? I think Nicki Minaj's pen game is strong, but mm-hmm. is right. it true? Is it true that? Do you think it's truthful that Cardi B has ghostwriters? I mean, to be honest with you, and I'm I think just, everybody. I was gonna say, I think everybody, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I think that your core work should be yours, but I don't think it's wrong with you know somebody coming in and finessing it and giving you. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think it's and when it comes to creativity, I think it's always best when you collaborate to make the best art possible. I don't, I don't know. I have a different perspective. I feel like as as a fan or follower of this industry and this music, mm-hmm. it's not just about how well you write. It's also about how well you entertain. And mm-hmm. that's the truth. Like, no matter if a person writes a song or not, whether or not they sat down themselves and took a pen and wrote the lyrics, if they could deliver that shit, though, like, yeah, I, that's because, part of the industry, too. Because no shade and no shade. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's be clear here. All right? I'd like to be clear. You can tell that there has been a shift in because I I I love Little Kim, okay. and I love the the nineties Little Kim and the Little Kim in the two thousands. Mm-hmm. But you can tell that there has that lyrically something has happened. 
Mm-hmm. I think the standard of rap has changed. No, right? fuck the standard of rap. Something has happened. <laughs> I feel like it has. Something is so, the who, flow has changed. So what I what I what I hear you saying, beloved, is Biggie died and her style changed. Oh no, because even after Biggie, even after Biggie's demise, I I I love uh-huh. the Notorious K I M and I uh-huh. like La Bella Mafia, but it's just like something. I don't know if the hunger was still there. Maybe the mm-hmm. hunger changes that's, after that's a while. What I, I, that's what I think. Like happens. the hunger goes away, and then you know it's it just don't sound the same no motherfucking right. more. But you know, I think the rap I, isn't as aggressive as it was back. Oh, then. bitch, it's aggressive. Okay. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't feel like for all writers it is. Like I feel like you had to be able to to to, to be a great lyricist. You had to be able to deliver, entertain the whole night. I don't feel like it's there anymore. Well, I think like, not for a lot of artists. Let me say for point, some artists, there are. I think that. I think that I think it does speak to like the hunger because I think I told you before like I read this article years ago and they were saying how the con- it was some other hip hop rappers I don't remember who it was they were from New York and they was just saying they were hot at the time and they were saying that their concern was now that little Kim was making all of this money this is a, again back in the 90s mm-hmm. when she was making all of this money and now she was starting to float around with uh, Gianni Versace and all them people Donatella they were concerned that her pen game was going to change because she, her ears weren't to the, to the streets, she was not. She was no longer in the hood anymore. She wasn't hungry anymore, and they were concerned that you know that her energy was going to change. And so I think sometimes it speaks to that too. Yeah. So that's why again, it's important to sometimes have collaborators with you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like, especially if you got up and coming writers that are hungry, like we were just saying not long ago, listening to Queen Radio when. Um, and Nikki was just saying that about Kanye. He's always kept his ears to the street. He's always been great about pulling in new talent. You know what I'm saying? And curating that talent. That's what makes him genius because he's always. It's, it's knowing when to move and how to it's stay when, involved. It's when to pull new people into your camp. And you know who else was great about that? Who? Um, Missy Elliott and Timberland. Like they weren't right. But all but of no, that but stuff. this is the this Drake is the gag. Can, can I tell you the no gag? Yeah. The the, here's the gag. The gag is Missy Elliott nor. Timberland. Girl, what? Is it that heavy? Dang. It's heavy, sister. Okay. What you think? They're not relevant in these times. No, they're not. They're not. And they were so... Sh- they, they ushered in... Their- Wait, Missy, though? They're not relevant Missy in these times. These I'm sorry. Now we love her because of like I'm shit, sorry. I don't know, y'all. Girl, listen. Hold on, sister. Like, listen. And this is not our co-host that's speaking. This is my makeup artist that's talking while I'm getting my face done. She, my co-host will be here in a moment, and we're gonna speak. We're gonna interview her. Mm-hmm. But I have to say this. They've put out things. They've dropped things, and it. Stuck for 24 hours mm-hmm. and it was gone. Mm-hmm. Even though we're living in the Instagram society right now, mm-hmm. where they got a minute and it's gone. But when you're of a legendary status, they're quoting your older things because mm-hmm. that's what stuck, mm-hmm. stuck, mm-hmm. stuck. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Aaliyah ain't even here no more. People still love you, baby, love you, baby. Right. Baby, you don't know. What you do to me Tweet. when Bobby Brown oh, fuck me on these sheets? <laughs> oh, that's oh, that ain't that Janet. Ain't. I'm sorry, mm. it's Aaliyah. Anyway, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna cut the mic off for a moment, and then we'll be back to introduce our co-host. Oh, is oh, that her? Is. is it her? I'm sure. Is it is. her? Is it her? Because if it's her, we're not going any motherfucking where. No fucking where. Am I covered? Oh, no, it's 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 it is. Oh, it's production. Then <laughs> we really gotta take it. Yeah, it's production. Okay. All right. So, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. All right, Craig, cut it off for right now so that, you know, we can move, maneuver through the house and stuff like that. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here, honey. Oh, my God. My co host has just arrived, honey, in the the core, darling. (laughs) She has just got here. Ladies and gentlemen, I. Do I need to introduce you? Or do you want to introduce? Because you know I always introduce. No, I like, I like. Ladies and gentlemen, I ain't seen this. I ain't seen this bitch in motherfucking seven years, girl. New credit, bitch. New credit. Bitch, I ain't seen this. She got. It's new. We got new credit with each other, honey. We done went to the credit repair shop and I got our credit fees. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my esteemed honor and privilege to introduce to you guys, Miss Nikki Nicole. Nikki. Hey, hey, guys. It's an honor <laughs> to be with you. I'm so happy. I'm ready to turn up and show my ass. Oh, bitch. Listen, I'm not gonna give you no red cup because the last time we was together, you had that red cup. We was over there talking about big titties, big dick. Yeah, and let me tell you something. 
tell you something. You was like, you ain't like no fish, but you was fucking with me, honey. Uh, yeah, because she was rubbing on me. I was like, rub in. I just want to get Let's shit now. Don't make me go to Bulldog and bitch. <laughs> don't be a bullfighter. Don't turn me on to a bulldog. Now, I'm, it's a funny, y'all. It's so funny. You know, they It's so oh. funny. I'm not trying to be shady. I'm not. Oh, yeah. Listen, we are, we are we are down with the LBGTQIABCDFG, honey, and I'm not homophobic, transphobic, or lipstick lesbian phobic, but I can be a boo <laughs> Girl, we're going to have some fun tonight. Yes, we are. So, can Nikki, can you tell the people out there? Because I have some people that say, Who is that? I don't know who. Because, right. you know, I get the same thing. They'd be like, Who is that? I don't know her. And they'd be like, Oh my God, her is a him? Like, no, I'm always going to be a her. You are her, honey. I just happen I saw to have somebody, it. I uh, was trying to figure out who I was. Chop up them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> but tell those old hoes well, that don't know that be sleeping under a rock, girl, who you are. Well, I have done a lot of different things in the industry. First of all, I've been on Candy Coda Nights for a whole decade. Yes, you have. Um, a whole decade. Mm-hmm. I went on tour with Life Jennings, um, opened up for his tour. Tour. I went on tour with Jagged Edge. I was a DJ for them. Well, speaking of life, Jenny. Yeah. Girl. Must be. Bye. Okay. What? Uh, girl, is yeah. he on some type of vegan diet? Why you say that? Is that him? That's life. Life, Jenny. The one, is that him? I'll, I'll, I'll the... picture for you. Is he real thin now or something? He's not. He's never been real thin. He's never thin. been real thick. Which one was the one that was we were talking about? Oh, that was Jaheem. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh. No, I'm down with you. <laughs> <laughs> not a whole <laughs> man. She was looking at the guy around the table. <laughs> no. She looked like one of the church mothers at the top of the She the rain. So I've time. also done radio. I've um I've done like a lot of hosting around the city. You ain't never done no pornography though. You, Not you, public you porn. Bitch, you ain't no bad bitch until your legs been to the moon, Rashida. <laughs> Not public porn. Ah! But I got some porn in my storage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> hey, girl, y'all start talking about that old nice to shit. I start shouting it over here. They can't see us, right? Who was the boy? Hey. Your children. They just, you just saw them. They left the fool sit here. She, 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 and mom. And that's my little leftover from. Who this is right here? That's that crack. That crack. Who wings is these? Who wings? They don't. They know you like chicken. Not that I like chicken. I just want to make sure this area is. Mom Madison, I did not know you were so fucking funny. You didn't know that? Well, you knew when we got together, Candy Cup, but, but you know it was, was more serious about it. It was serious, but they was trying to censor me. Yeah, it was it wasn't like I didn't know you was funny as hell. Yeah, listen, they tried to censor me, Nikki, you wow. know. <laughs> they was trying to censor me and they was trying to make me motherfucker. They was trying to make me be an advocate. I ain't no goddamn advocate for that ch- I like to have fun. You can't take everything that I say fucking for Yeah. It's so, so serious. And you can't take everything that I say as law. Like, bitch, I'm a human being. Yeah. Yes, I'm advocating for, we all advocates for rights. Right, yeah. But goddamn it, stop holding me accountable for some dumb shit I might say. I might say some stupid shit because I'm, I'm a funny. Yeah, I want to put that disclaimer out tonight. We're funny. We're going to say some dumb shit. We may not mean it. Now, listen, you, you, words you can't use on the show is the tranny. Okay. He okay. can't use them words. Um, Faggot. Well, <laughs> <laughs> can't use faggot. No, no faggot. <laughs> so well, if you say it like that, I mean. Oh, F A Y E G U A G H U T faggots. Right. Uh, well, we know what it means. Right, right. <laughs> you say it like that. We know what faggots mean. What's, what's, what's going on yeah, tonight? Yeah, I'm putting out the, um, okay. the dog. We can't know. say stuff, you know. We It's just, we got to be respectful because we, we, we. Yeah. Is that right. all, Craig? Yeah. Are you kidding me? That's all you. I'm telling you, that's going to be an One, hour. 1, 2, right 3, there. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay, 14, 15, 16. That's an hour right there. Yeah, don't read this. Don't okay. read that. Right Y'all, now? No, don't read that right now. Okay. No, Come down. So, you know, Nikki, I, like, this is a pre show that we're doing right now. We don't start out doing it a pre show, child. I, listen, I want you to be unadulterated. I want you to be. Oh, yes. I don't want you Balls, to. Balls, dick, pussy. Oh. Yes, all that. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 
But listen, before you give me your courtroom persona, yeah. tell me just a squid. Okay. How you felt about seeing Nicki Minaj's hand swole up and, and, and Cardi B had that knot on her head? Okay. In one word. Yeah. Or one sentence. Yeah, I can't do one word, bitch. <laughs> one okay, sentence. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's for mine. I keep, she done seen it already, Chris. I only seen one name. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm tired of them doing this shit. I'm just gonna be honest with you because I don't want America to make me pick who the fuck I like. I like both of them. You know what I'm saying? They need to cool the fuck well, out. Well, I'm a bard. It's, That's all we're gonna it's say. It's room for so everybody. Are you a bard or are you Bardy Gang? I'm with Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Team Jesus, Team Soldiers for Christ. <laughs> That's who side I'm on. Okay. That's the one. That's the, see, that's yes. the one that got me. No, but I like both of them, I'm gonna be honest. See, me and uh, Nicki Minaj, we got the same birthday. You know, oh, and I'm, you the eight. I'm December 8th. You were Santa yes. too? Yes. And I like Cardi because she real, you know. She, Girl, I like her story. Okay, well, we'll talk about it on the bench. Do you want me to pull you some of this MD 2020? I'm so spirits. These are some spirits. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just set the ball of MD2020 down in front of Nikki Nicole, and she's like, bitch, them some spirits. I'm like, bitch, which kind, honey? I want a cocktail, but I don't want that. Is it yeah, the Holy I don't Spirit? Know. I don't know. Listen, production has just walked up here. Hold on. Nook, if you book before you know. <laughs> Oh my God! I got to call the internet, people. All right, y'all, we finna go. So I hit y'all back in about in a, in a few well, minutes. I will spend a night the show the okay. Morning. All right, y'all. Bye.